Donaldson Oladipo Dia was born on 3rd April 1944 at Odogbulu, then Western Region, present-day Ogun State, Nigeria. He was Chief of Defense Staff of Nigeria. He later became the Vice President of Nigeria and was arrested in 1997 for plotting coup and was charged for treason. In this section, we make a look about his military career and his coup story. Dia joined the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna, Ribadu Campus, and fought during the Civil War in Nigeria. He later attended the United States Army School of Infantry, the Command and Staff College, Jaji, 1980-1981, and the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru. While serving in the military, Dia studied law at Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, where he obtained an LLB degree, and then at the Nigerian Law School, where he was called to bar as solicitor and advocate of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Oladipo Dia was commander of 31st Airborne Brigade. January 1984, he was appointed military governor of Ogun State until August 1985. He became general officer commanding 82 Division. Nigerian Army in 1985, General Oladipo was Commander, National War College, 1991 to 1993, and later appointed as Chief of Defense Staff. Dia was appointed Chief of General Staff in 1993 and Vice Chairman of the Provincial Ruling Council in 1994. As Chief of the General Staff, he was the de facto Vice President of the Nigeria during the Sani Awaj military junta from 1994 until he was arrested for treason in 1997. Dia planned to overthrow his boss, Sane Abacha. Almost all plan we are set before Abacha noticed his movement. General Victor Malu was assigned to arrest him. The alleged coup was uncovered by the forces loyal to Abacha and Dia and his court were jailed. Dia was tried in a military tribunal and was given the death penalty. 15 persons out of a total of 30 tried were found guilty as charged. 14 were found not guilty, while one was convicted for a lesser offense than the original charge. Upon the untimely death of Abacha in 1998, Dia was pardoned by General Abdusalamu Abubakar, the head of state who succeeded Abacha. Most people believe that the much hype coup was in fact a ploy by Abacha to do away with Dia, who was increasingly becoming popular among the elite and opposition parties. For his moderate views on the situation in Nigeria. Earlier on, Abacha's loyalists had twice attempted to assassinate Dia, once at the airport and then in the street, using bombs. But most analysts said that whether motivated by a real coup plot or not, the arrest of General Dia signaled deep divisions within the Nigerian military and reflected rising tensions over General Abacha's apparent intention to remain in office by engineering his own election as president. After his arrest, a military tribunal sitting in Jos, Plateau State, Nigeria, sentenced six people including Lieutenant General Oladipo Dia to death by firing squad. In April 1998, Major General Victor Malu said that 15 persons out of a total of 30 tried were found guilty as charged. 14 were found not guilty, while one was convicted for a lesser offense than the original charge. Lieutenant General Oladik Bodia is amongst the 13 persons charged for treason and conspiracy to commit treason. He was found guilty on both counts. General Dio Dia. Major General A.T. Olarowaju, Major General A.K. Adisa, Lebanon Colonel O. Aki Ode, Major O. Fadikwe, Major B.M. Mohammed, W.O. Koka Oladisun, Cobra I. Kontagora, Cobra A.D. Ebunu, 
Engineer A. A. Adebanjo, Mr. Owati Main Abimbola, Mrs. Shola Shoele, and Professor Femi Odekunle. Lieutenant General DOD charge one treason, finding guilty. Charge two, conspiracy to commit treason, finding guilty. The accused were brought to the main military barracks in Jos for trial. Security was tight and the men on trial were chained at their ankles during the proceedings. In a dramatic statement at the outset of the trial, General Dia asserted that he had been entrapped by another officer close to General Abasa. General Ishaya Bamei, who approached him with the idea of mounting a coup, given the explosive nature of this church, the government then closed the trial to the public. The head of the military tribunal, General Victor Malu, the former commander of the Economic Community of West African State Monitoring Group, ECOMOC, responding to the Lieutenant General Diaz's defense that people at the very top frame him, said it was not necessary to know who had initiated the conspiracy. He noted that all Lieutenant General Diaz had to do was prove that he had not been part of the plot at any stage. General Malu assured the defendants that they would be given a fair trial and unlimited access to information they needed to defend themselves. This tribunal will not conduct or tolerate a trial by ambush, he said. The South African government questioned the secrecy surrounding the trial and warned of the probability that there could be an unfavorable reaction both in Nigeria and internationally to a carrying out of the sentences. The sentence was later commuted by the head of state, Abdusalamu Abubakar, who succeeded General Abacha. Lieutenant Dia was not only released but also discharged from the army, stripped of his rank, and buried from using his military title. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.